Okay, I'm going to do a quick little tutorial on this radial design of the SketchUp flower, and then I'll make another one for the 3D name. I do mine a little bit differently with my class, so um, if you want to do it my way, you can. If you want to do it the way that it has on the instructions, you can do it that way as well. Once we open this, which hopefully I'm going to have to talk pretty fast because I only have five minutes. Once this opens, we're going to click on um, Create New. I'm going to pause this while I'm waiting. Okay, now I'm not pausing anymore. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Create New, Feet and Inches. It really doesn't matter for this first one if you do meters or millimeters. I'm going to click on that guy and do Backspace, or you can click on the Eraser tool and Erase them. I'm going to view it from the top view. There's two ways of doing this. I teach my kids the other way. You can either click on search and type in top view, or if you click on this little action camera on the side, that's scenes. This is top view, front, angled, and you can go all the way around your picture without even using your orbit tool. So I like to go to top view, and I am told my students they don't even need these lines to start. So I'm going to use the eyeglasses, and that's your display, and turn off my axes. So now I have a blank screen to work with. The arrow tool will close it on the side. We're going to go to the circle tool right here. And you don't have to click and drag. You just click one time, make it about the size of a ping pong or golf ball, and let go. When you start this first one, it's easier for the kids if you go to Paint Bucket to open your materials over here. And it only shows you nine. If you want to look at others, you can click on Browse right here. I'm just going to do red. I have my kids do red and change it later. OK, so I'm going to go back to the circle tool. And I'm going to start on the outside edge. Anytime I draw the next six circles, I'm going to start on the outside edge. And I'm going to bring it to the center. It should say center. And then let go. Where, this, where the outside circumference is, where they touch, I'm going to bring that to the center. I'm always going to the center on this first layer. So here I'm going around. I end up with six. Outside edge where they intersect to the center. Outside edge where they intersect to the center. I have six here. I have my kids go ahead and go to the search tool and colors and color in the outside edges just for now so they can see. Um, I go ahead and have them color all the way around. My very low kids, this is basically all they're going to do. I show other options like push pull and orbit around to um, students that can handle it. My, ba my lower kids, I help them do this. Some won't even have this correct, and it's fine. And then they can color in the flower part, too. But I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do the next one since I only have five minutes. So I'm going to go to my circle tool, circle. And this time, I'm going to go to the pointy part of the flower, click, go to where the two petals touch. That's why I tell my kids, click, go to the pointy part of the flower, go to where they touch. And I teach all this first on a Google Meet because my dividers are up. I turn on the Meet and make sure that they join without sound. And then they can see from anywhere they're sitting in the room. Click, go to where the two flower petals, meaning this one and this one. And if they make something that's crazy, you can press Escape to stop making the circle. And then go to where you want to go. And then go to here. And remember, there's also Undo right up here. And you can undo all the way back to the beginning. So the pointy part of the flower to where the two green petals con connect. So there's my next six. Go ahead and color them. Now if you want to look from a different view, remember you have your action and the eyeglasses is where I can turn off my axes. So that way when they, um, oh, another thing. This isn't saving right now. If it says untitled, it's not saving. So you'll need to go ahead and put in a title which will open up your Google Drive and hopefully you showed them how to add a folder in Google Drive. So I'm going to call it Flower 4 because I've made a bunch. Press OK. While this is thinking, I'm going to pause my video here. This is what pops up. They're going to click the folder they, collect, they made and select. OK, I only have 25 seconds. So now it says Flower 4 and it's automatically saving. So when I come over here to Home, you can see the one that I'm currently working on, and I can double click. You will want them to make a screenshot and put it in their portfolio. If you don't know how to get to Google Drive easily, click plus, click on the nine little things here, and click on Google Drive. And then they could add a folder.